This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. A familiar face, not competing at this year's IAAF World Championships, but as Charles Fisher tells us, he was still there supporting. It was more about who wasn't there than who was there. Superman Lee Van Sands was there, and being back in London brought back so much mixed emotions. A lot of memories, you know, uh, they ain't good memories. <laughs> you know, the last time I was here, you know, I uh, went down in the pit, you know, I was taken off on a stretcher, so, um, you know, it's a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. Um, I was hoping to be back here competing. Um, that was my goal from the last Olympics since I, you know since the injury. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I, I had a I had an injury late in the season. As the Bahamas athletes rep on the B3's board, he was there to support our athletes. Five years after Faith dealt him a blow. It's my first time back. Yeah, first time back since since uh, since the injury. Any plans to go and see like the doctor and those that help you? You were here for like two or three weeks after, right? <laughs> yeah, like a week. I was here for a week. I told I told the doc, I said, hey, I don't want to be here for my birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he, he gave me an early release because mm -hmm. my birthday was on August 16th. So I, I got back home on the 15th. Having celebrated his 36th birthday on Wednesday and the last few years plagued by injuries, just how much more does he have in the tank? Seeing that I didn't uh, make the team this time, uh, I think and I want to go to Commonwealth Games next year. Mm -hmm. Saying there's no World Championship or Olympics next year, I guess. You know, I guess I just, I just do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then go from there. My my mind's strong. You know, you know that is. And and you know when I do when I have a bad season, I just use it, I use that as motivation for the next season. So um, don't mind the results. You know, the mind is there, and I know I still could do it. You know, I just had a you know I just had a bad. Nobody would know when I injured because. I jump injured, you know. Like I said, when I came to nationals, I was injured, but nobody would know because I would force myself to jump. Mm -hmm. So, um, as long as I'm um, injury, as long as I'm healthy, um, then I guess y'all you, you could see the, the real Superman jumping again next year. Wishing Superman the best moving forward. For ZNS Total Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. From the World Senior Bowling Championships in Germany, men's doubles finishing up today with Group B, Charles Johnson and Barrett McDonald, 39th in the group, 79th overall, 1,867 pins and a 156 average. Sonneth Lockhart and Greg Taylor, who competed yesterday in Group A, finished 38th overall with their 2,225 pins and a 185 average. Ladies doubles also on the lanes today, Marina McLean and Johnny Lockhart finishing 22nd in Group A and 40th overall. 2005 pins and a 167 average. With only three ladies traveling, Paula Hards did not have a Bahamian partner, so she played as part of a makeup team, finishing up with 870 pins and a 145 average. Another national team getting ready to travel in short order. For more on that, Here's Kelsey Johnson. The team has been selected and now it's time to shuffle into position. The under-17 girls national soccer team is going for goal down in Puerto Rico. We have uh, 10 girls from Nassau and 8 from Freeport. Um, I think we have 13 that competed last year in the under-15 girls tournament. and I have a few injuries, at least three of the players who played last year are injured so won't, won't be making the trip this time. But um, we picked up uh, some strong players. Uh, I think we've taken in three 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds who will be eligible to play under 15 next year. So it'll be a good experience for them. With the new faces, how does the team mash together the chemistry now? Well, unfortunately, some of the girls live in Freeport. So I had a few of them here last week, and they've been here sporadically. I have one here now from Freeport. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't, weren't able to get them all together at the same time. Um, but the ones that are here, you know, they have meshed and when the girls from Freeport came in, they, 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 they gel well with the team. Is this going to be the final team of 18 or are you going to cut it down to 15 or 12? No, the 18 is the final, the, the, the final number. Mm -hmm. And how is the team looking? They're looking good. Uh, still, you know, we always can get better. Um, uh, the, the girls that are in Freeport are working, uh, actually are working on their own. So I gave them a program to work on, so they're, they're doing that. Um, the, the girls here have been working very hard. Uh, you know, some days are slow. Uh, maybe they're just tired, I don't know. 
but you know it, that's just the way sports is. The Bahamas will be competing for the top spot in this round of the CONCACAF World Cup qualifier. The 18-member squad will leave for Puerto Rico on August 21st. Their first game is August 23rd against Anguilla. Host country Puerto Rico is a tough side. That match will take place on August 25th and the game against the Dominican Republic will follow two days later. I don't know anything about Anguilla. I've never played against them. We played against uh, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Uh, they're both very strong teams, uh, very organized. Uh, technically, they're, they're solid. So I, I think those two teams will be our, our toughest opponents. If we win that pool, then we will play uh, again in October. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. Checking in now on our junior tennis players in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Dante and Brister winning his second round singles match 6-2 and 7-5. Jacoby Bean also through to the next round winning in three sets 2-6, 6-1 and 6-3. On the girls side, six seed Sydney Clark also advancing in singles 6 love and love. As for doubles, Africa Smith and Amnet Simoniola from the USA, they won their opening round match 6-3. And two. From the minor league baseball diamond yesterday, Lucius Fox won for four as Charlotte shut out Jupiter 2-0. Todd Isaacs also won for four in Lake County's 11-3 loss to Bowling Green. C.A. Christie Real Estate coming to the aid of three young sailors as they get ready to compete in the Canadian Optimus Nationals August 20th through the 26th in Nova Scotia. 14-year-old Morgan Gramatico, 11-year-old Joshua Weish, and 14-year-old Jackson Parker will go up against a fleet of over 100 of the world's top junior skippers. After seven years, the Battle for Atlantis has its first title sponsor. Bad Boy Mowers out of Arkansas has signed a multi-year deal brokered by Impression Sports and Entertainment. Still talking hoops, it's been a busy summer for the Bahamas Basketball Federation, but even more is on the table for the rest of 2017. We have an event that's going to be here the week before Battle of Atlantis uh, in November. And then also you will have Battle of Atlantis and then the senior men and the new competition home and away will be playing in Halifax on the 24th of November and then returning home on the 25th to play the U.S. Virgin Island on the 27th. So the rest of this year is going to be busy for us. Uh, the senior team is now in preparation, but those who are home, uh, we reach out to those who are overseas who will be available to come back home. All leagues around the world will stop during the week of November 20th to the 28th, give the guys to come home and prepare themselves with their national teams and be ready to go. So. We're looking at the guys and hopefully we're using this summer thunder also to cut some of the local guys and decision will be made by the end of August on at least the top 15 players we'll prepare or have in place to represent the country in November. And that'll do it for sports. Stay tuned, check on weather still to come.